Hey, what's up guys? Uh, just have a quick video for you here. Um, basically what this is going to be is how to get your Xbox, um, I want to say fixed, but kind of in air quotes, if your HDMI port is broken. Um, and again, this isn't an actual fix. I'm not going to tell you, hey, wiggle the cables, make sure they're whatever. If you know your HDMI port's broken, this is just a way to kind of get your Xbox going. <clears throat> so, I had no output at all, um, and I did not have my stream set up. So you can stream your Xbox One to any Windows 10 device or Android, um, but the problem is you don't do that ahead of time and you lose your output. It's really difficult to set it up. Uh, so here's what I ended up doing. If you connect your keyboard to your Xbox, you can hit Control, Windows, and Enter. And it basically turns on blind mode. And what that's going to do is allow you to navigate through the menus without your, um, without any picture. So you basically hook up a set of headphones to your Xbox and you scroll through and it will tell you exactly what you're what you're doing. So you're gonna scroll, you're gonna access your menu, and I'll link a more in-depth video in how to do it. Um, but basically you navigate to your settings. Um, go to your uh, sorry. Um, devices, connections, remote features, and you're basically going to come in here and make sure you enable your, fe your remote features, um, instant on, and then what that will allow you to do is go in through your computer and actually link this together so like I said it's not a fix um, I mean my HDMI port is still broken but it at least allows me to still get some use out of my Xbox and I don't play it that often anyways so it wasn't a big deal to me but it was just kind of um, it felt like a waste with it just sitting there doing nothing so this way you can at least access it again uh, go ahead and check the description. Feel free to comment. Like I said, this does not actually fix your HDMI port, um, but it does allow you to use your Xbox again.